Hello everyone, welcome back to FBM Main Outdoor Journal. Our fun new project starts now. Follow us along. Well, the boys and I have been looking for a good spot for a hunting camp for a while. It's a little close to the areas of Maine that get uh, more snow during deer season and a place that's uh, good for fishing in the summertime, but we haven't really been able to find just what we're looking for and if the things that we have found that we like, prices are way too high. So we got the bright idea we was going to build a hunting camp that we could take anywhere we wanted. And that's when we got uh, decided to buy this uh, nice 2007 Bluebird. She's powered by a Caterpillar engine, I believe a C7, and we got the old three-speed automatic Allison transmission. She was uh, inspected right up to when we bought it, been registered, been used by a little church in town to transport kids around. Seems in real good shape. Not much rust. Should be able to curb all that. So uh, we got a lot of work to do to the inside to make it how we want it, but... Uh, it's going to be a fun and exciting project. We just thought we'd bring you along, show you our step-by-step -step progress, and uh, show you the many adventures we plan to have in it. So uh, let's get at it. Well, we've been watching all kinds of videos online on people uh, converting these buses into motorhomes and tiny houses, and there's only a very few of people that actually use it for uh, hunting camp, fishing camp, like we're going to do. And there's all manner of different things people do to marble countertops and all sorts of different things. Some people leave the insides just how they are. Some people strip it all down to bare metal and re-insulate. Uh, they say a big thing is if you're not going to use uh, wood heat especially, you'll get a lot of condensation in here with the, if you leave the original paneling and the original insulation. We plan on heating with wood, which shouldn't be a problem. But uh, the insulation in these is real, real bad. I know it's a lot more work, but I think we are going to go ahead. We're going to take all these inner skins out, rip all this old insulation up. We're going to take all this uh, old subfloor up, take that all down to bare metal, prime and paint that, keep so we can curb all that rust from down below. Of course, we'll take all these seats out. I think we'll throw down an inch or so of uh, foam insulation underneath our new subfloor on the bottom. And we'll also uh, re-insulate the top and the sides so that when we use it in the summertime, we'll at least stand a chance of not being in a total oven and uh, be able to keep it semi-manageable. And it'll heat extra good in the uh, wintertime, in the fall time when we use it. So that's our first big step. We've got to pull all these seats out. Now this isn't a full size bus. This is like a mid size. I think it's a 45 or 48 passenger. So it's got eight sets of seats, 16 seats, which is a little less. Should be a little bit more manageable. But we're going to get all these seats ripped out of here first. We're going to tear up this floor and uh, get this ceiling stripped off. That's going to be our first steps. I've seen uh, quite a few people do it online. Sometimes it goes real good. Sometimes it doesn't go real great at all. One thing, uh, some buses, you see all these screws on the ceiling, then, well, some buses, they are screws, but on this particular bus, they're rivets, so that's going to take me a lot more time, because I'll have to either bust those off or drill them all out. Back here is screws, 
and a lot on the sides of screws so some of the screws will help some people just search out buses that all these ones in a row are just screws just for that purpose for the quicker time but i figure for the amount of time it's going to take to revamp it this will be a small part we'll get these uh seats knocked out of here first make some room and uh start stripping away see how it goes Well, we're moving along here pretty good. Of course, uh, our batteries for our tools, we only need to have half of those charged, so we run out of battery here, but we got uh, four seats out so far. I left this one heater in place for now because I gotta get some parts to, uh, these uh, hot water runs off the engine, like these heaters, so I just gotta get a connector so I can loop that back through before I disconnect that heater. Same way with the uh, another one on the other side. So while we're waiting for the batteries for the grinder to charge up, we've been just tinkering around at stuff that we can do without the power tools. We got all the covers pulled off the wiring down along the walls. We pulled out some of these uh, lights and speakers and labeled everything because it's going to be quite a mess of wires when we get all done. And uh, Jackson started pulling up the little uh, aluminum strips there that hold down the rubber strip down the middle. Yep. I start pulling up some of the rubber strips so we can start to pull the plywood up. Notice back here there's quite a lot of uh, rod here on the plywood. I think it's going to be uh, a good idea that we're pulling that all up and changing it. We'll have a super strong base to build up and everything will be nice and fresh. Stop any rust and rock that's going on underneath there. Looks good from up above because that rubber floor kind of hides everything down below, but uh, I'm glad I took the advice of some of the videos I watched and don't be deceived by it. Always want to pull that plywood and rubber floor up because uh, I can see I've only pulled back a little bit and it's wet under there right now. And I noticed when I cut some of the bolts off that hold the seats, those were uh, some water came right up one of those holes. So I'm guessing that there's, uh, this it's pretty uh, wet underneath. Hopefully the upper part of the floor isn't too rusty. If you look at the floor from underneath, it's pretty nice, so hopefully it won't be uh, too bad and we get it all peeled back and we'll be able to treat it with it and uh, start rebuilding. We should uh, replace that uh, wood, shouldn't we? Yeah, we are going to replace it. Yeah, not good, but good. Six more. 
six seats left. Plus these little uh, front boards. Gonna get the maximum amount of room we can out of this. So we're moving right along. We did tear up some uh, floor, a little rubber off. So galvanized galvanized stuff underneath. Treat those rusty spots and fix that right up. Duh. Cut these rivets out. Nice. Like a screwdriver. Nice job. This is the old fashioned way. Oh, I think that's the new way. <laughs> yeah, we got to drill all those rivets out so we can pull those side panels off to re insulate. I'm working right over here uh, with some rivets. Got Jackson, he's over here. He's got a screw gun. He's taking out a bunch of rivets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice job. All right, we're gonna see if we can push through here and get the rest of these seats out. See you in a bit. Well, we finally got our first roof panel after, I don't know, seemed like a million rivets. It's probably more like 50 or 60 rivets. First piece down, all we got in there is like one inch of, maybe an inch and a half of fiberglass. That's not gonna do. That's good enough for taking kids to school, little curtain climbers, than the education, but uh, it's not gonna do for what we wanna do. Nope. So we're gonna get rid of that panel. We're right down to the base skins now. We're gonna get insulate this all in with some nice poly foam. Now, if we're gonna go with poly iso, or we're gonna go with the pink pink board there, I can't remember what it's called now. I'm gonna go with one or the other. Oh, the pink. Probably foam? whichever one we oh. can find on Facebook Marketplace for a good deal. So, I'm gonna rip this panel out of here and uh, probably go to bed. Try again tomorrow. We gotta rip the light on. Well, it's another day and we're back at it again. Going out some more rivets, Liam? Yeah, I'm screwing them away. Nice job. I'm going to work on these last uh, four seats up here. What are you doing, Mildred? Take these two uh, pads out in front of the front seats. And uh, we'll try to get the rest of this floor on up. So we can get that all cleaned up and ready for paint maybe next weekend. So that's the plan for today. See if we can get the rest of this straightened out. See how we go. Well, we got the bare metal peeling back the floor. Got a few seats out, got one left. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you later on. Well, we got some seats out. Peeling back the floor to bare metal. A little rusty, and uh, we're gonna take this last seat out here in a minute, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, and then we peeled down the metal, and the uh, we got the wood out, and got a few escape patches there, there, and there, and there, and then we got. We're going to start sweeping, just sweep all these little crumbs away and all this, these little pieces of metal, clean up the box and we'll see you later, bye. What are you doing? Not much, what are you doing? Not much. That one out. Well, we're making pretty good progress here for the weekend. Weekend's winding down. Got all this, uh, all the plywood up, all the rubber floor up, all the seats out. Except for that plywood right over there. Started to do a little sweeping. I'm going to cut this piece out here underneath the driver's seat. Seems pretty sound. We're going to cut a strip out and back down along the steps so we don't have to remove that whole seat and column. Mm. I think it'll dry out and be fine right there. Mm -hmm. This floor's got some, quite a few rusty spots where the plywood was wet, but it's nowhere near rusted through. 
We're going to uh, wire brush this all up. Wire Paint her up be the next step. Uh, the project we're working on right now is disconnecting these old heaters. We got this one all disconnected. Working on that one. Now I'm where the lines came back up through the floor. Into this heater we're disconnecting. And the lines go all the way to this heater that we gotta disconnect. And then finally they go into the edge of the cockpit right there to the front, very front heater. We're just gonna take these two lines right here disconnect all these wires that went to the heaters and take these two lines and just put a U in there so that the coolant can still circulate plus we'll still have the heater in the front cockpit the heater in the front cockpit so that's what probably be the last of our project for this weekend we get those man. heaters pulled out we call the junk man to come get some steel well it was a little bit of a job but we was able to get that heating system all drained got the heaters all removed one there all disconnected another one there another one there so that freed up this whole side did a bypass on the line right there so she'll recirculate but most buses come with us some are under the hood we got one right here that shuts that right shuts it all the full coolant from going back beyond that first heater anyways but we went ahead and bypassed the line i shouldn't say bypass we looped the line so that uh just in case somebody hits that lever, just don't start gushing antifreeze out in the air after we get it all finished. That wouldn't be good. But overall, she's uh, pretty good. A little bit of surface rust on the floor. We got little one little spot on this wheel well. I crawled underneath and looked at it. I'm going to be able to fix that up just fine. That's the only real bad part on it. You can see right there. But down underneath is hard metal, not too far. So we'll be able to reverse that with a little rust converter. The frame down underneath is uh, nice and solid. Just starting to get all that uh, black coating or paint that they put on from the factory. That's starting to fall off. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this floor and prep it next time. Also uh, going to pressure wash the frame and give that, a, give that a painting as well. So that's our plan moving forward. This is what we got done so far. Good progress for one weekend. We'll see you on the next episode to uh, show you how much more progress we make. See you next time.